the Moshuda Biola Polytechnic at Beokuta, the only self-sustaining state government-owned institution in Ogun State, is on the verge of its imminent death. And that is no longer a news. The Academic Staff Union of Polytechnic, ASUP, Mapoli Chapter, through its national body, wrote to MBTE to reconfirm the accreditation approval as announced by the state government. Barely a year after, and up to this moment, MBTE has refused to either debunk or affirm the government announcement. Thus, putting both the future of the staff, both academic and non-academic staff this time, and much more importantly, the future of the institution and the polytechnic education at large hanging in the balance. Still along the line of the same struggle, ASUP has submitted a series of position papers and correspondence to the state government through the Honorable Commissioner of Education, as well as the Secretary to the state government. Yet no positive response in the direction of our plight. The most recent and shocking revelation of the scenario was the latest announcement by the state government that the MBTE again had approved and then transfer all accredited courses of Moshud Abiola Polytechnic Abeokuta to the newly established Ogunste Polytechnic Ikokia. Another rhetoric question therein is, is accreditation transferable? These questions still remain unanswered. The government hopes that the new student be admitted for all these accredited courses at the new polytechnic, Ipokia, but lecture domicile within the Moshud Abiola Polytechnic, a contradiction and an aberration. We might begin to wonder, how on earth will students be admitted for an institution and then take lecture in another institution already being killed? Is Ogun State Polytechnic Ikokia accredited? Among other questions include, why is the appointed director for the Ogun State Polytechnic Ikokia resuming in Mapoli on a daily basis? The recent discovery from MBT is that Mapoli is no longer a recognized body and that the Auguste Polytechnic Ipokia does not have accreditation to run any courses. The points here are in pursuit of the historical and legal responsibility of our self sector to drive industrial harmony and peaceful survival of our career. At this point, our union is therefore constrained to lament again that our subsector in Ogun State is on the verge of collapse and there is the need for all emergency attention that it requires. Until now, it should be noted that the issues raised here today have been rolling since the mid-2017. It is against this background that we wish to remind government at all levels who have been playing politics with our lives and careers, as well as Nigerians, that we can no longer continue to be enslaved. We can no longer continue to be tortured by the state government, who is actually saddled with the responsibility to enhance our welfare. In the face of imminent and seemingly terrific annihilation, of this subsector that feeds and cater for millions of Nigerian youth and families, a subsector that has the potential to continue to enhance Ogun State values if well annexed. I want to believe that we will all agree that deductions are part of employee salaries. As we speak, numerous months of our deductions from union deals and for cooperatives have been withheld by the employer, given the directive of the state government. Non-payment of accrued allowances. All accrued allowances have not been paid. 
on the directive of the state government. And the management has no choice than to play along for whatsoever reason, not a discussion for now. As surprising from this emergency chapter Congress, and going by the approval of the National Executive Council, neck of our great union, through the Zonal Executive Council, the chapter hereby resolved to resume the work to rule resolution of the union. This action shall be sustained until our demands are met.